Hello and welcome back to Celeb Factor. Dr. Phil is a pretty entertaining show with some really weird guests, while guests like Daniel Brigoli and the sexy vegan two of the most popular guests we featured on the channel before might get all the attention for their antiques on stage, there are worse and dangerous people who need to be fixed by Dr. Phil. In this video, we look at a few of these guests on the show. Stay tuned! Fake Cancer Survivor First up, we have Patricia, who claims to be defying the odds by becoming a record-setting weightlifter while also battling stage 3 brain cancer. Sounds inspiring, right? Well, according to Patricia's daughter Jessica, she's living a lie and fooling the world. Despite her daughter's aims, Patricia denies these accusations and insists that her diagnosis and incredible survival story is real. While Dr. Phil isn't buying any of her nonsense and eventually puts her in her place, something like cancer is a tragic and serious disease and lying about it is just shameful. The Real Life Batman Imagine someone comes over and tells you he's a real-life Batman. What would be your reaction? You think he's out of his mind, right? Well, Dr. Phil welcomed a man on his show who was convinced he's a real-life Batman. Giovanni calls himself the absurd Bruce Wayne and that he was dedicated to bringing people justice. The show host felt indifferent, though, and claimed that his guest was delusional. Goose would not only run in a Batman suit and mask all the time, he would also have black around his eyes when not wearing the costume, including on dates with his fiance Kalan, which for her was obviously very weird. She also claimed that he was obsessed with becoming the superhero days after proposing to her. The video goes on to show the army veteran showing off his martial arts moves while dressed in a mask that mirrors the one of the fictional character. Though Kalan loves her soon-to-be husband, she also expressed that she doesn't want to be walking down the aisle with a man wearing a mask. Giovanni, however, claims this is his full-time job and is not a part of his life that he's willing to change. Dr. Phil is noticeably unimpressed and confronts the self-proclaimed Batman, asking if he realizes the superhero is just a cartoon, to which Giovanni explains that this is something he closely relates with. A messed up family. The following family is probably one of the most messed up we've ever seen. It all started with mom Reagan telling Dr. Phil that her daughter Maya had only tried to commit suicide to gain attention. However, it was more messed up than that. Turns out mom Reagan cheated on her husband Steve with his best friend Craig. Maya, meanwhile, was messed up and tried committing suicide twice, once while she was in 8th grade. Father Steve wasn't much good at parenting either as he provided his daughter with drugs to help her get rid of depression. His claim was that it was better to take drugs at home rather than get them outside. With a marriage on the rocks, the daughter was facing the brunt of the issue psychologically for many years now and things were getting difficult for her. Craig, on the other hand, felt he was unfairly being blamed for everything, but Dr. Phil had to still tell him that him living in Reagan's home with her children was the reason for all their problems. Young adult allowed to steal by mother. In 2019, a guy named Alex, his mom and his sister made it on stage as guests on Dr. Phil. Alex was brought on the show at the request of his sister Elizabeth, who wrote in to ask Dr. Phil to help her get it into her mom's head that her brother was no good. According to Elizabeth, the mom Kimberly allowed her 26-year-old son to get away with stealing. What's worse, Alex didn't deny it either. Elizabeth says her mom would give him her half of the rent and Alex was using the money for drugs. There's no way my mom is that naive. She added, My mom has known for years that Alex is stealing from her and she does nothing about it. During Dr. Phil's chat with a 26-year-old, Alex admitted that he likes to use Instagram and he has an image he likes to portray on the internet. Alex seemed like the spoiled teens on the Dr. Phil show, but he was living a dangerous lifestyle. He admitted to feeling no remorse and not feeling guilty at all. His don't care attitude had people curious about what happened to Alex after the show. Turns out he went to jail for a month and a half. According to Alex, it was bound to happen and he accepted it responsibly. That brings us to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it.